let's move on and, and we can uh, come back to you in the discussion at the end of the uh, uh, webinar. It's yeah. my pleasure now to move on to talk about, uh, uh, to, uh, to have others talk about the project, a uh, heat project in Moldova, a country um, in Eastern Europe. Um, my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sylvia Stradelat, Head Department of Epidemiological Surveillance of HIV and Viral Hepatitis for the National Agency for Public Health, <clears throat> pardon me, and Dr. Angela Parashiv, who's an uh, uh, Associate Professor at uh, the State University of Medicine and Pharmacology. And I'll turn it over to Sylvia and Angela. Thank you. Good afternoon for everyone. Uh, first, I would like to thank you for invitation to participate on this webinar and sharing our results within the project supported by the coalition from global hepatitis elimination provided in Republic of Moldova in 2021. Please, next slide. Republic Moldova is a small country located in southeastern part of Europe with a population 2.6 million people, has a high prevalence of chronic hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, and primary liver cancer. In 2020, 73,000 people were recorded with chronic hepatitis and the other 10,000 with liver cirrhosis. About 64% of cases are caused by by chronic hepatitis of viral etiology uh, and uh, uh, 47,000 cases being officially recorded. Hepatitis B predominates in the etiological structure of the uh, chronic hepatitis constituting 70, uh, uh, 61 uh, Percent uh, compared with hepatitis C, which is uh, 31 percent. Please, next slide. In uh, the that project, uh, we uh, had uh, two main objectives. Uh, one of these uh, was to ensure performing of the situation analysis on filed of viral hepatitis BCD uh, and to develop the action plan for eliminating viral hepatitis BCD. And the other one object to ensure the estimation of people infected with viral hepatitis B and C in different group of risk and general population and provide modeling of epidemiological situation of infection of hepatitis B, C, depending on the implemented uh, interventions. Please, next slide. Several activities and then interventions were carried out. A group of expert specialists was organized and was directly involved in the realization of these projects. For collecting data, we developed the tools, the questionnaire for collection epidemiological prevention and treatment data for viral hepatitis BCD, and the other one questionnaire for laboratory evaluation on testing and diagnosis on viral hepatitis BCD. Next, please, uh, slide. Uh, data uh, from analysis were uh, collected from uh, 249 primary health care institutions and hospitals, and the, the data on testing and diagnosis were represented by 71 laboratories from current country, including five uh, private laboratories. Of course, we uh, used and the uh, national uh, statistical forms that provided uh, uh, also data on viral hepatitis. Next, please. Based on uh, uh, collected data in the country was uh, provided the analysis. This analysis uh, uh, includes sex uh, captures and provides the information, uh, challenges, barriers on surveillance, acute and chronic hepatitis, epidemiological situation, uh, also provides information on prevention of viral hepatitis, hospital uh, care system and access to treatment, including NDAA uh, treatment in viral hepatitis, laboratory capacities in diagnosis of viral hepatitis, and a monitoring and evaluation situation on this uh, form. Next, please. 
uh, within the uh, analysis, we identify many challenges uh, in Republic of Moldova, but uh, the main challenges are uh, determined uh, by uh, surveillance uh, intervention in Republic. Uh, there is a lack of integrated database that would allow us to analyze viral hepatitis morbidity in complexity and in sufficient epidemiological data collected on cases of chronic viral hepatitis. The other uh, uh, problem is lack of national electronic register for tracking patients with viral hepatitis and liver cirrhosis of uh, uh, BCD etiology. Please, next slide. The other challenges are provided uh, by some uh, prophylactic uh, um, activities. In Republic, we identify there are insufficient inf information awarenesses uh, uh, above uh, general population and high group risk on viral hepatitis infection. Uh, is lack of financial resources for implementing implementation of these activities. And of course, we identify uh, a low coverage by vaccination against viral hepatitis B of person for, uh, from uh, group, uh, high group uh, at risk. Please, next uh, slide. One of the biggest challenges is testing a diagnosis in the Republic. We identified uh, uh, low uh, HBV and HCV testing of key population, and of course, uh, low testing and of general population. It uh, is determined by uh, poor implementation of laboratory screening and diagnostic service in country, of course, determined of low financial coverage for viral hepatitis screening testing. Uh, next, please. Based on uh, challenging data uh, provided the analysis, in Republic, we uh, uh, provided uh, a national strategic plan for elimination of viral hepatitis. This uh, plan was developed uh, taking in, into account the barriers and challenges uh, in uh, the situation analysis, but of course, and the WHO recommendation for elimination of viral hepatitis and uh, other countries' experience. Uh, this uh, plan includes and provides specific objectives and strategic activities, including monitoring and evaluation indicators for six strategic areas. One of these is prevention of the new viral hepatitis infection. The other one is strengthening and consolidation of viral hepatitis testing, treatment care monitoring of persons with viral hepatitis, reduction of health disparities caused by viral hepatitis, strengthening epidemiological surveillance of viral hepatitis, of, of course, integrated collaboration be, between the decision makers involved in the addressing of viral hepatitis and the yeast question crisis. Uh, about uh, next our activities in our country, I will uh, ask my colleague Angela Paraskiv to talk about it. Angela, you are, please. Angela, I think you're on mute. Thank you very much. Sorry. Uh, now, uh, is it okay? Yes, sounds yeah. good. So, uh, in order to determine the seroprevalence through HBV, we have collected data from 71 public and private laboratories of the country during 2020. It allowed the determination of HBS antigen seroprevalence in the country, which was 2.05. So based on this data, we have estimated that the real number of infected people with HPV is 43,573 compared to 29,069 officially recorded. So only about 66% of patients with chronic hepatitis B know that they have hepatitis B virus. Next, please. 
The same study model was applied for hepatitis C virus. So based on the collected data, uh, the anti uh, uh, HCV uh, level was 2.03. So we found that the real number of people with uh, hepatitis C virus is 55,834 cases compared to 14,928 cases officially reported in the Republic of Moldova. So only about 27% of patients with chronic hepatitis C know that they have hepatitis C virus. Next, please. So uh, we have included collected data from the epidemiological analysis of the situation of hepatitis C through the uh, hepatitis C disease burden simulation model in order to simulate the hepatitis C virus epidemic of Moldova and potential elimination scenarios through 2015. Next, please. So the simulation modeling was performed by using the total population of the country, which is 3.5 million officially, and the viremia prevalence of 2.44% for hepatitis C virus, as well as testing strategy that is used in our country at the moment by using rapid test for the screening and confirmation with PCR test. Next, please. So the simulation uh, presented 21 strategies available for the Republic of Moldova. So a 20% early screening rate and 80% annual treatment rate, a strategy that could be realistic to be achieved in our country. Next, please. So used uh, the selected elimination strategy, approximately 2.75 million individuals must be screened by 2030, peaking at about 600,000 individuals annually between 2023 and 25. So for each year after 2026, about uh, 45,000 individuals will need to be screened. Next, please. Screening, um, a screening uh, deaths individuals would result in over 62,000 newly diagnosed individuals within 2022-2026. And also when combining this new diagnosis and already diagnosed uh, individuals with hepatitis C virus, about 66 thousand individuals would require hepatitis C virus treatment between 2022 and 30. So the number of people in, that uh, initiate the treatment will peak at approximately 16,000 in 2023 and will decline to below 600 to 2028. The next please. Also, the hepatitis C virus incidence rate would decrease by 98% between 2015 and 2030. And hepatitis C virus associate, associated mortality also would fall by 72% as well during the same period of time, exceeding the target of 90% and 65% respectively. So we will avert 17,600 deaths by 2015. And the next, please. The total cumulative cost of the hepatitis C virus program under the selected elimination strategy is $104 million for the uh, Republic of Moldova. And this equates to between 10 million five and 15 million annually through 2025. And also in 2026, the annual pro program uh, cost would drop to just below $10 million before continuing to fall in future years. And after 2027, 20, uh, 20, this program cost accounts for less than 100,000 annually. The next, please. Uh, so the elimination, uh, the elimination scenario uh, is cost saving and um, 80 million dollars will be saved between 2015 and 2050. So the elimination of hepatitis C virus in the Republic of Moldova is feasible. Next, please. 
So based on the results obtained through this project, we have established the main activities to be carried out in the next period. Uh, so we have to mention that it is very important pro to promote the implementation of strategic plan for the hepatitis elimination mm -hmm. in the Republic of Moldova, strengthening the viral hepatitis diagnosis capacity, ensuring testing and diagnosis of viral hepatitis, increasing the quality and accessibility of healthcare service, strengthening the epidemiological surveillance of viral hepatitis, also raising public health awareness of viral hepatitis, increasing vaccination coverage of newborns, and also uh, high risk groups, including uh, people uh, using um, intravenous drug users, sexual workers, men who have sex with men, and patients, uh, persons in peniten peniten uh, penitentiary institutions. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you both for an excellent overview of an excellently uh, well-executed study and uh, project. I um, had a couple of questions. I encourage others to put theirs in the chat or the q and We're monitoring both. But uh, uh, first to you, Sylvia, um, you mentioned uh, a working group uh, that you put together to start the project. Um, I, I would like to know um, who was in the working group. Um, you had such excellent participation of clinics and laboratories. Um, it, was, it was very interested to see what working group you put together to start the project. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, this working group was uh, organized and uh, participated specialists from National Agency of Public Health, University uh, or State University of uh, Medicine. Of course, uh, specialists from uh, public uh, centers, uh, uh, territorial public centers and uh, primary health uh, sector. Uh, this working group, uh, group was approved by uh, uh, or the bar, uh, Ministry of Health, and uh, they included uh, uh, the main specialist in the areas, of course, uh, of specialists in diagnosis that uh, provide uh, in the information and, uh, uh, and provide the analysis of data that was uh, collected uh, in, uh, within the, the project. Thank you. Um, a question also about um, access to testing that was found in the HEAT study. Um, in Ghana, uh, Aban showed how the testing um, uh, platforms were there, but they were not being used for hepatitis. Um, and I was wondering, in Moldova, is access... Uh, an issue for the testing equipment not being available in a con in, in a in a clinic, or is it a, a question of the there's not a testing policy to uh, guide testing, or are there cost issues for patients, or what mm -hmm. other issues um, we need to think about when we want to expand access to testing? Thank you. Uh... Uh, uh, um, within the project, we identified that uh, in our country, uh, first of uh, we don't have the algorithms, provided algorithms uh, to be uh, implemented in the country. We need to develop this uh, uh, guidance and algorithm and uh, uh, provide the capacity building of laboratories. Uh, the other one problem is uh, uh, in our country, uh, we implement the test rapid testing. Uh, uh, th these tests uh, are procured by uh, the Ministry of Health. By uh, they uh, not uh, there are large uh, um, testing of the of the person. We need to provide the company to to the testing Compa company. 
uh, to inform the population that uh, these testing are in the Republic and uh, to address to for testing, uh, of course, uh, uh, population. Uh, the other one, uh, I, I think uh, the problem is about collecting data uh, because uh, in we don't have a database on provided testing in Republic. And this also, this is a problem. Uh, we have collected the data only in the development of the project, but now we don't know how many people are tested uh, 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 in the years. And this will need to be developed. Uh, I think this is the, the first. Uh, of course, we have a gene experts platform that is uh, implemented in HIV testing and the TB testing, this platforms need to be um, uh, with, with uh, to used. be using uh, used for testing and the hepatitis B. But for implementing uh, this uh, um, technology, we need to develop uh, the policy strategies uh, to implementing the gene expert testing uh, on hepatitis. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in Angela, in the, in the modeling of a hepatitis C elimination program for Moldova, um, I was struck by the continued high cost of virologic testing, which is about, uh, I think you estimated at about $50 per test for the model. model. Uh, and just uh, maybe it's a question for you and Sylvia, what are the opportunities to uh, reduce that cost? Um. Uh, I think uh, it is uh, very important uh, to, to reduce the cost because uh, the rapid to test uh, is uh, uh, around uh, one one dollars, but uh, is very high uh, prices for confirmation test, uh, and uh, this uh, would need to be discussed within uh, at the level of Ministry of Health uh, and uh, provide uh, some uh, strategical. Uh, uh, um, activities to, to reduce the test on the on the testing on viral hepatitis. Thank you. 